As the East Coast braces for a historic hurricane, California Governor Jerry Brown says he'll do whatever it takes to fight climate change. But some are wondering if he's prepared to go far enough. California is committed to doing whatever is necessary to meet the existential threat of climate change. And yes, it is an existential threat. No matter what the naysayers may say, it is a real present danger to California and to the people of the world. On Monday, the same day that the Trump administration rolled back regulations on methane, one of the most potent fossil fuels, Governor Brown signed a mandate requiring the state's power sector to completely wean itself off fossil fuels by 2045. The law, which was passed by the state's legislature last month, requires the state's utilities to source 60 percent of their power from renewable energy by the end of 2030, an increase from a prior goal of 50 percent. It also states that by 2045, all of the state's electricity must come from renewable or other zero carbon sources. So this is actually, in terms of uh, the bill that just passed, it's a sort of 10% increase on where we were already heading. Um, so I don't know if that's ambitious, but uh, it is progress. Mia Yoshitani is the executive director of the Asian Pacific Environmental Network. We're excited to get to the 100% goal. Um, uh, the real question that we have is how are we going to do that? And is that, trust, is that transition to 100% clean energy in the electricity sector in California going to be a just transition? So meaning, is that, tra is that transition going to actually bring the health benefits and the economic benefits that are needed in the frontline communities who have been facing the brunt of the extractive economy pollution? Um, is that 100% is that transition going to benefit those communities? Brown signed the bill days before the Global Climate Action Summit, a gathering of civic and business leaders from around the world aiming to ensure the goals of the Paris Climate Accord are met. But on Tuesday, a coalition of organizers called It Takes Roots held another event, the Solutions to Solidarity Summit. They think the Global Climate Action Summit won't do enough to fight climate change. Uh, our main critiques of what the, of the solutions that are being proposed there is that they're kind of wrapped in uh, market solutions, so lacking creativity of anything else beyond what uh, folks in that sector think can be both voluntary and, and a, a market incentive. And that's just not enough for, for what we actually need. So, um, you know, we think that there's, there's, there's a lot of great ideas uh, that are probably part of what people are bringing to that, but what's really being elevated is the governor's uh, leadership or the governor's um, footprint on California climate policy. And for that, it's been mostly market mechanisms. Instead, Mia says they want solutions that will prioritize those most affected by the extractive economy. We want a direct uh, reduction of emissions at the source. So where there are polluters like the Chevron refinery in the Richmond, in the city of Richmond, we want the pollution coming out of those smokestacks to be reduced and to end. So that's number one. We want the, the greatest emission reductions to happen at the source. Um, we want the, and on the other side of um, the managed decline of the extractive industry um, in California, we want uh, um, the investment of public dollars, private investments in renewable energy that is owned and built by and for local communities who've been on the front lines. Brown is known for supporting sustainable energy like solar and electric vehicles, but his administration has also approved 20,000 new oil and gas contracts since 2011. I don't have any trouble saying where Jerry Brown has been pushed to do some good things and has done them. But in terms of uh, Jerry Brown being the marker for what we can achieve on climate, um, the bar is so low. I'm happy to say Jerry Brown is the best that we've got right now, but that's part of why we're here, is because we need something that's so much more ambitious, so much more imaginative, and so much more rooted in real community needs than what we have with Jerry Brown. For The Real News, Tharna Noor, San Francisco.